What is up everybody? Welcome to OSRS Quick Tips. In this video, we're going to be talking about which Slayer tasks you should be extending to make the most money out of the Slayer skill. There is quite a few of them, so let's get started. First one is going to be Fire and Darkness, which will extend your Black Dragon tasks. You can then do Brutal Black Dragons and King Black Dragons on this task, which can make you quite a bit of money. Next up is going to be Rune, which will extend your Rune Dragon tasks, and as soon as you finish Dragon Slayer 2, you'll want to get on this one because they can be anywhere from 1.5 to 1.7 mil an hour. Next up is going to be Birds of a Feather, and this will extend your Aviancy's tasks. Now why would you want to extend these? Well, because you can do Criara on an Aviancy task, which can be incredibly good GP per hour if you're pretty lucky. Next one is going to be Greater Challenge, and this will be for Greater Demons. Once again, you can kill Krill Susaroth in the God Wars dungeon, which if you solo can be somewhere between 2 and 2.5 million GP an hour. Your next extension is going to be It's Dark in Here, and this will extend your Black Demons task. As soon as you finish Monkey Madness 2, you should extend this one for the Demonic Gorillas, because believe it or not, they are Black Demons, and you can see a lot of money per hour here on the count of the Zenike Shard being very expensive. Next one is going to be Wyvern another one, and this will extend Skeletal Wyverns, which is very good AFK money while you range. If you have an Armadale Crossbow or even a Dragon Crossbow, these can be very good money per hour, somewhere between 700 and 900,000. Next one is going to be Get Smashed, and this will extend your Gargoyle tasks. They are pretty AFK, and you can make a decent chunk of change here, even if you just kill the normal ones. But if you want to step it up, you can see somewhere between 1 and 1.2 million per hour at Dusk and Dawn. Next one is going to be Next Please, and this will extend Necrail Task, which you can burst or barrage in the Catacombs of Karen. And if you have a decent Magic Bonus and Magic Strength Bonus, you can see a pretty hefty profit here per hour. Following the Necrails is going to be Augment My Abbeys, which will extend your Abyssal Demon Tasks. You can do the Sire in place of Abyssal Demons if you so choose, it's actually not that bad money per hour. Or you can burst or barrage the normal Abyssal Demons in the Catacombs of Karen. Next is going to be Crack On, and this will extend your Kraken Tasks. Kraken is a boss, which, is it really? Is it actually a boss? I don't know. But regardless, it is pretty much AFK income per hour. You're never going to lose money on a Kraken task, so extend them. Very AFK relaxing task. Next one is going to be Basil Longer, and this will extend your Basilisk tasks. Now this one's up in the air. If you're hunting for that Basilisk jaw, definitely extend them. But if you don't get lucky, not really good income per hour. So it's a toss up. Last but not least is going to be more at stake, and this will extend your vampire tasks. Believe it or not, you can make somewhere between seven and 900,000 an hour at the Vampire Sentinels if you have Sins of the Father done. That is it, guys. Please let me know in the description below if you think I missed one. Take it easy, everybody.